and stupid manoeuvres outside Dublin Castle. Broadcasting threats to cause a little riot and have the authorities arrest us all before we can lift a finger. We cannot allow anything or anyone that threatens well-laid plans. And you've been asked before to moderate your recklessness. But who can talk to you? We can't tolerate it. We won't tolerate it. Nobody will be allowed to jeopardise an insurrection that is being carefully organised. What do you propose to do? Because with or without me, the citizen army will march on Dublin Castle within a week. Oh, good God. Check on it, if you wish. Do you believe him? He has us over a barrel. An alliance? We could form an alliance. If you can get over your fine distrust of the mob. Are you prepared to listen? And to talk. Well, talk then! After you. You're all very good at talking. Elaborate plans are already in place for the liberating of Ireland and the declaring of a republic. What kind of a republic? Oh, call it our independence then. The country cannot be anything until it's free. Political and social freedom are not... related things, we know that. Well, since no one has ever heard your policy, except for something based on a morbid idealising of the past... The establishment of an Irish republic by force of arms. A brief and sufficient policy for now. And if you're worried about Labour, I can assure you that the new army of Ireland will be the last to suppress the Labour movement. Oh, the rabble say thanks. If you would stay your hand a while longer, for what? We brought you here to ask you to stay your hand to us. We're telling you then, stay your hand! Who's rash? The old speeches of propaganda haven't exactly been prayers. They're the line! Where is the cautious McNeil? Your leader. You are not talking to McNeil now. I'm neither rash nor cowardly. I'm worried about this bide your time doctrine. This waiting for the right moment that has crippled a dozen risings in the past. Privateer ratings are no other fail to. Are you waiting for the British to swoop? Your recklessness is the greatest danger of making that happen. Do you think we're the kind of men to let this chance slip by? We have chosen the right moment. 1950? Or when the war ends? The right time was during the Boer War. The right time was 1913 when, if Labour and the unions had any support from the likes of you, the British government could have been crippled at will. The right time is now, with fighting spirit, which is more important than any theoretically perfect organisation. Words are lightly spoken. Yes, they are. What could your few numbers do anyway? We can die, if needs be. We'll strike. When? Easter Sunday. God, Grand Pierce, you are right. <laughs>